got deleted and then my publicist was like they're running this story that you were deleted for sleeping with the CEO of Instagram blah 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 so it's insane do you think guys and girls could be friends I passed by Harrison Ford at a crossroads and he looked right at my chest you're territorial when it comes to your man that's why I pick ones that are like losers so then other <laughs> girls don't want him boom I don't think me and you have sat down and talked into a microphone together in three years. A long time. Since the very beginning. Since the very beginning. I don't even know how Kendra and I met. I think it was I through the how. internet. Yeah. Do you know how? Yeah, Blair uh, Blair posted you. And then you followed me? Yeah. And then we were, then we were in this period where stuff. Molly decided to f*** off and go home. She was our in-house model during the pandemic in a warehouse. And so we're like, oh, I guess... We gotta like constantly bring girls in to make content because there's nothing to do. And I saw that I was like, oh, Kendra, someone's but following me. Blair's <laughs> around still or no? Blair's who like, who is that? Who's who's Blair? Blair, you? I don't think. Oh you yeah, met. I think she came to one of the, the first. Blair parties, right? was like also the OG Al fam because she did an original butt plug video and she pooped on my kitchen counter. Um, when the butt plug came out, that's fire. It was awesome. Okay. It was a good it's a very moment. large butt plug. I've been saying that for years. It's too big. Which is crazy because you're into black guys. Mm -hmm. But not. Not on my butt. Yeah. Don't you think that's that so is crazy. <laughs> crazy in 2023 to say? What? It's like not believing in like women's rights. To be like a woman in 2023 doesn't do butt stuff. Yeah. Very, that's pretty. You're very pretty, very old school. You're, you're very old school. And especially <laughs> the industry you're in. Yeah, not by choice. Very traditional. Just what do you mean not by choice? I mean, if I it enjoyed is. I would do it all the time. Like, if I liked it, I would do it. Right, but sometimes you... Don't you just, like, have a bad day at the office? Wouldn't that be... Yeah. At least you could do... No. You just never want to not have a good day. No, I'm just, like, I'm afraid. I don't want my... To turn, like, brown. Wait. I think a lot of people that do... And especially, like, do it a lot. Like, from your... Getting stretched out, it turns, like, brown. Or, like, even just your do you genital think it's just areas. Polyvian? Yeah, I think if you get pounded a lot, like it's like your starts to turn brown too. So that's crazy. I just like I want my so, to stay pink. So I'm like really a, afraid. So that answers the question. That right actually, there. I will give you that answer. Yeah. Normally, yeah, you've given us bullshit answers for three years, <laughs> but I want my butthole Why? to stay pink, and yeah. I don't want. Was was you her with the last time you guys spoke anal. when the whole Apple thing happened? With I don't know when we no. That's so. This is the thing. Kendra was, uh, you know, or is, but was at the time, you know, she had her, how many followers? Two million. Two million. She had two million. She's hanging out with us. <laughs> wow. With the little people. With the little people. At that we time. Were, we were little people. We were in the trenches. We were like, come to the hood. I feel like it's switched now. Like, you guys are very popular. Like, you're everywhere. And I'm just... Kendra. Kendra, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> <laughs> just kind of... You're like... <laughs> like you, you don't down. understand. You are the last of the Mohicans of <laughs> What does that mean? Because now everyone's a whore. Mm. But you're like I'm a, a star. Lady. No, you're a star. <laughs> like, because everyone's like a whore and I now, right? Like, you're the oh, last yeah. of He's stars. saying that like the, the value factor is not, right? like, it's not as big as when you entered. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's true. It's so you went, The way they talk about 50 Cent being the last guy of like the perfect time of Rap you're about to give her that you're about you're to, like the 50 wow. cent that's Thank heavy you. i saw him live recently so that's great Same. the compliment yeah, so he was, was great he good? i'm so yeah. jealous you're so good i almost came everywhere did you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So i could see He's him so i was like third row so I, I was just like looking up at him just like wow with his freaking chain glistening and his veneers glistening everything i was just like wow he's so hot he's the best he's he still looks like he's 25 up there really well, you no, don't think so? Dope. I think I was too close because I was like, no. <laughs> he looked old, but like, I'm down. I think he's like, what, 50 something? No, I, I, no. Actually, no, I think he's like 40. 50? I think he's like 46, 47 or something like that. Oh. His I, chick is young. She's uh, she's like 29. 29 I didn't even old. know he had a chick. Yeah, she's been yeah. with this girl for he's a while. He's the best dude she's on a the lawyer. internet. Yeah. Do you follow him on Instagram? Yeah. I love that he he's herbs. A troll. He's such he's a good the best. troll. I actually get jealous. Like going back to the whole Instagram thing, like I get jealous of people that famous they can get away with murder on social media. Yeah. And I'm like, D I just want to do that. I want to make fun of people you and not do get that. No, 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 no. I've calmed down a lot. Oh. But the now it's all like walking these little lines before, you know, 
You've heard okay. of Fifty Cent though. Say some crazy shit, but now he's get kicked off for it, and I'm jealous of Fifty Cent. But you know what he said, right? Stay crazy. What? He That's said true. that he said that the reason why he's still capable of doing that and not getting canceled is because he hides behind the fact that he's still a rapper. He says that he doesn't say that he's a businessman or entrepreneur because then he no, said. No, I just it, mean Instagram would delete someone else for bullying Ja Rule this much. But the way he That's does it point. though, it's not really bullying. He just puts up a video and a small caption. Like he doesn't say anything like. He doesn't say anything derogatory to the point where they're like, oh, we could take this off. He kind of says, wow, well, look at this clown. And he kind of just kind of, it's not, he, he like, right, his title, title, you know? Floyd Mayweather, that was bullying. Back then, yeah, <laughs> that, that was bullying. The not well, reading stuff, yeah, that was like, good. If you called somebody yeah. a hard now. Yeah. That was funny. But Instagram was different back then too, right? Yeah, I know. Back in the day. It's back in the back day. In the Dude, days. I, back in think, my day. I think about that all the time. I'm like, out. oh, the golden era of social media was great. so nice. The there best. was a minute I was getting away with having my nipples out on Did Instagram. Did you really? Yeah. I would post little like photos on my page. Yeah, I mean, so did I. That's it's how the out. whole CEO thing came about because I was posting stuff and people were always like, how are you getting away with this? Like, how is this still up? And then I was like, oh, I'm fucking the CEO. Yeah, but you... Were you saying that before you hung out with us already? I think so, yeah. Okay. So I was, I was making. <laughs> so it became like, a thing, and you just kept running so with it, right? Yeah. Kendra's got two million followers. She comes over to hang out, especially at, the at that time in Instagram. Very yeah. important that we peak pandemic. Yes. Fans hasn't popped yet, so everyone's bored at home looking for content. Yeah. She's one of the few stars, you know, completely out of pocket on Instagram. <laughs> Great entertainment. It's really bad. She comes to the warehouse. We all get a little drunk. She gets really drunk. Yeah, I was going to say a little. Goes on Instagram live. We had a dildo at the time. How whacked out were you? This was just alcohol? I was alcohol? Really fucked up. Yeah. yeah. We I had the dildo. And claws. she was like, I can suck this dildo. Pour on a white claw down, down the dildo. Pour a white claw down the dildo. God, we have the footage A lot somewhere. of viewers? There was uh, a lot of viewers on the, on yeah, the live? Bro, yeah. There was a lot. It was yeah. crazy. Did you take your tits out or no? Yeah, I did. That's Took what got me in tits trouble. Out. That's a great Took her that's, tits out yeah. and we're like, dude, you should not be doing this. I don't really remember because I was so drunk. I went home and I like passed out. And then I woke up and I was like, oh man, like what did I do? But yeah, I like the next day I got deleted. But you went off, like, do you remember wait, like being like, damn, I went off hard. Like, I don't even know why I did that. Or you woke up, you're like, yo, whatever, who cares? Um, I thought, I didn't think it was going to be a big deal because I think I got away with so much at the time that I was like, it's whatever. Like, I posted the whole live on my feed, like on my page, just being like, whatever, I could do whatever I want. And then the next day, it all kind of like came to me because I got deleted and then my publicist was like, uh, Lainey was calling me like, oh, they're, they're running this story that you're deleted for sleeping with the CEO of Instagram, blah, blah, blah. That's insane. And I was like so confused how she had, how it had already got back to her, like how it had already got that far. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. And then it's kind of like the library thing all over again. Like I did it and I was not thinking it was going to be that big of a deal. And then it just ended up being crazy. Crazy. Like, so many porn stars were just shitting on me yeah you definitely got reported by your peers and not even yeah. haters like yeah. the actual haters are people who go why can't i take do that right yeah why, so everyone on twitter was like melting down on her because during the live she said i could do whatever the fuck i want <laughs> i fuck the ceo of instagram it's insane now wait i don't even know in who the he history is. <laughs> of Facebook, is. no CEO has ever issued a public statement about things that have happened outside of the company. Crazy. This yeah, dude they had, to. had to go. They had a and meeting about me and go. CEO of Instagram had to literally say, "I love my wife and children." <laughs> I don't know that woman. <laughs> I don't know that woman who says she's sleeping so with bad. me because Adam. she could get away with anything she wants on Instagram. So they just made an example out of her. They had to. You feel bad. Yeah, I felt bad. Because of, fa of his fam, right? Yeah, I think, and just because, like, I just created such a mess, and it was, I just felt like it was so ridiculous that everyone would know that it was a joke, but it was just very much not that way. But, yeah, I had to, like, beg to be let back on Instagram and everything um, and apologize to oh my God. him and his family. But Did they I say just, anything to you? No, I just think, like, no, inadvertently. Like, they said things, they through their statement and through like I knew I someone mean, that works for them it's in the crazy company. that like I would have laughed if a 
Sarah said that about my family and me. I'd be like, this is whole. I just think that maybe like it, maybe people around him took it seriously. In his fear, he could have laughed, but in his fear, people are like, Ugh, in his fear, people are probably banging porn stars. Eh, right? Maybe, maybe not. We don't know, right? But I I'm mean, saying why not? Like, if you're the if you have CEO money, it's also the pressure. I can call up a variety of any stars to keep me company, right? So probably it's yeah. the corporate. Life. Like I would do it. If the CEO of Instagram called me to fuck him and said, Carl, you can post whatever you want, I'd be <laughs> sucking his dick nightly. I feel like you would. You? Right now? Yeah, I yeah. would. If he's like, yo, I'll give you all your old shit back, everything. Interactions, you'll have 100% engagement, and I'll never delete you. Just like, fuck me once a week. I'd be there I I'd be there twice a week, just in case. Easily. <laughs> Would yeah. you not for that? I think that's, that's like why people. I'm not in that position because I didn't lose a two million. It doesn't matter about account. even any following. If someone said you have a hundred percent engagement, no one will miss anything you post. That's like the biggest drug because you know you could turn that into money. Yeah. Right. It's not even about like, oh my god, I want the attention. It's like, dude, you give me a hundred percent of my million eyes. I have. Like, are you shitting me? Like the yeah. potential of a better life around me is so much. It's crazy. I would literally suck dicks for that. No, I get it. I was just, I was still on the fact that the corporate guys might not, might not. No, they wouldn't <laughs> like that. But I, I was bet you they don't. that part. Yeah, I, I fuck with the leverage on that part. But I'm talking about as far as them not. You know, they're old ass dudes, bro. With fucking. It's with, just with worse. family and the, it's gotten worse. <laughs> it's been the same. No, social media has gotten worse. There's not even like. Do you, are you still tweeting? Uh, time from time to time, I guess I do. It's Twitter. It's kind of died down, right? Yeah, he said he's I mean, I've just I've had that account since the very beginning They've of my career. That. I've never had my Twitter deleted ever. I've always had that same exact account, so I have like a million followers on there. So I really should tweet more. I just like, I like Twitter more. I think I should like Twitter more because you can post whatever. whatever you want. And like, I've had that account the longest. I have the most followers, but for some reason, like I always try on Instagram more. Like I'm always putting more effort into that. Because I think it's the comments and the likes. I think yeah. that drug is stronger than just whatever Twitter's given out. Yeah. And Twitter's just giving you replies Instagram and retweets. Instagram is just more important. Like I feel like people are just look at that more. Then like, oh, how are many you, Twitter followers do you have? Like, nobody asks that. Are you tired of, like, Instagram? Do you get cringed out by Instagram at this point? Because you've been probably on social media for a long time. I think or? I'm just tired of social media in general. Like, I just look at it. I'm just kind of, like, over it. I wish I could just not, you know? But it's a huge part of my career. I just look at, like, I get tired of my Twitter feed just being all p And then Instagram, it's like, I get tired of trying and putting an effort and just, like... No, not my stuff not really being put out there mm -hmm. because they're like shadow banning me and then tiktok is just like i don't know it just it makes me cringe i just feel like people now like with the npc trend and everything i just feel like people just like are cringe on the internet yeah you know and i get naked on the internet so it's like what do i have to say about what people put on the internet but some things i'm just like damn like i would way rather get naked and put that out there than like do the npc trend you oh, know yeah. or like even talk to my tiktok like even what's it called when you like um i don't know it's like when you use a sound but you're mouthing the yeah, words I know you what know you're saying. like lip like that like, like lip singing like that makes me cringe so hard i can't i'm like too embarrassed but i will literally put my butthole out there for everyone to see i guess everybody has a different angle but at the same time if you pink butthole yeah it's cute for now <laughs> you yeah for see? now it's cute if you yeah like I, can't, with your I, that's, I think that's why i don't get tiktok either because i don't understand what that is and yeah <laughs> And I'm like, I'm, so maybe popular. I'm just old. Maybe I'm just old. Well, TikTok reminds me of Instagram and Vine in, in one, yeah. right? That's what kind of gives me the vibe. And I'm like, damn, well, bro, Vine was I did Vine. I yeah, did Vine Instagram. And now TikTok came out. And I'm like, do I have to really just constantly... You, they make they, it, it feels like you got to be a slave to each app. Yeah, it's And you know what it is? It went from like Vine at the time was about having fun. Right. Right. And then, you know... Out of Vine, I think they had a few stars, right? Like that really broke out. Yeah. But now every single person on any social media, whether they have zero followers or 10 million, are trying to become famous and not having fun as much, right? So it's crazy. Like you walk anywhere, you're like, everyone's just making content. Yeah. Like no one's just absorbing these memories or like just filming something for just fun. Like, yeah, it's weird. Everything yeah. is content. Every single human That's is literally a 
a business. It's a little sad for sure, though. It is. It's, I miss people just kind posting of food photos now. Yeah. yeah. I miss just being like, oh, what did you do in your life? Versus like, oh, I'm, I sell this or then I like fucking do this. Or like, dude. Yeah, I'm feeling very like burnt out from the internet. I'm just tired of it. I'm yeah, like, same. It's just like it's nonstop just so, ads. Yeah, I'm so over it. And it's the same routine. It's the same formula, right? And it's like, like, like you just said. Do you have like imposter syndrome? You know what that is? Someone had said that to me recently, but I don't really know what it is. So imposter syndrome is where you feel like a fake in your own industry. So like, I feel that, right? I'm like, what am I doing? Like, there's so many other t-shirt brands, other shit. Like, do you ever be like, what am I contributing to the industry that no one else isn't doing already, right? Like, yeah. I feel like a fraud a lot of times. Like you're saying you in didn't reinvent the wheel, you're saying? Yeah, like I'm like, I'm just taking photos of hot girls in the backyard in my merch, right? And yeah. the photos are great and everyone loves them and they are quote unquote art. But a lot of times I'm just like, Am I contributing anything to the space in any way? But you do have your own style. Right, right, just right. To but mention. it's still that question of like, oh, like. But that's what exactly. life? Right, yeah. <laughs> but that's exactly what we're talking about on social media, right? It's like, it's just like the same shit. It keeps happening over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's the same formula. And you're like, yo, what am I really doing? It's like, is this yeah. any kind of contribute? Is this different? Is this new? And you're just constantly in the same like hamster wheel kind of like going against this race right and, and at the same time i'm like all right the way I, I get people to look at our shit is by sex and like and funniness right so mm -hmm. when we do like these butt plug attachments you're like i laugh at them but i'm like is this real life like these are the things that like i'm yeah i have this much time on this planet and i'm spending it putting jump ropes in like jane wilde's <laughs> ass right yeah. and it's great and it's silly and it's entertainment but you're like Man, I, I really wish I could do something that matters. I feel that way, but I also just feel like I'm always telling myself that life, like my therapist is always saying that to me because I'm like, I hate just, you know, I wake up, I live life, you do that, go to sleep, do it all again the next day, over and over and over again. And she's like, that's life. Like, that's life. You know, you have to go to work, you have to pay your bills, you have to do the dishes, like you have to do all these things that aren't necessarily fun and like not exciting to do but that's just a part of life and i have to learn to be content with just that you know and it's, it's like, crazy that you say this because that's the truth but yeah. the, but the thing is as we keep going as a society what it seems like is just everything become is becoming automated through robots through this through that because nobody yeah. wants to do those things is exactly what i love cleaning yeah. my room that is the if i Ugh. i hate it my room will pile up disgusting as they leaves out of town the bedroom's a mess but the minute i clean it i feel so accomplished i do understand yeah. the end result what it does but i never have enough motivation to like do some of those things like dishes yeah. it's like you like it but then it's like it feels so accomplished but then a week later you're cleaning it again like yeah it's like the gym like i hate going to the gym i love leaving the gym it's getting out of bed and it's getting to the life. gym is like why why do i have to do this and also i feel like we all become this way too because things the easier some things get the harder it gets for us because to us it's like oh it's easier but then our brain is processing shit so fast that we're like Oh, why is the internet not oh, working? Oh, so you don't understand. Yeah. We're like, why is this not happening faster? Why is this? Why? I posted a TikTok. Why didn't it get two million? You know, it's like every time we want something more, it's like more, 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 more. It never ends, right? And that's why it's kind of weird. That's why we have those kind of, I guess, like, do outlooks. You, like, do you, would you ever plan on disappearing? Like, my whole goal in life is to make enough money to make sure my family's taken care of. Yeah, same. My crew. Right. And I'm out. What's your escape? Like, yeah. I just want to move to, like, mm. Greece or, like, Montana, get off the internet, and just live the rest of my life in peace. I feel like I don't want to disappear. I more so just want to be, like, set. Like, I want to feel like, like I made it. Like, I want a house. Um, I want multiple houses in different places. I want to be able to travel, and then I feel like then I'll be happy. Like, then I'll have, like peace yeah you know like i'm working towards that do you so, feel like you're gonna have a retirement thing like for your career or do you feel like you're just kind of like gonna i feel like i'll retire um because i don't want to be like in my 30s like doing like i don't i don't want to just start at 19 and then never end like i want I there you. to be a period where that's not my life would you take off for 10 years and then come back as like a victory lap as a milf yes yeah, like 100%. come back in your 50s, just like. Because I'm like, give me that I cock. feel like well, I got into it at 19, so there's been, it's been like 10 years now of this life. I want a break where 
my life as something else for a while like i don't want to just continue doing and then once i'm older it's like what do i have to lose like i'll just go back right you're already the you know? cat's out of the bag they've like, seen everything a milf will come back as that. a milf in that category but like there's no reason for the in-between for me to just back still the be there yeah. come back to an Back when I don't give a fuck about my butthole anymore, and you then I'll back all. discolored. <laughs> Would you say in the ten years you've been doing <laughs> that, if you did any other job, you would have sig- significantly made less money? Well, yeah, any other job, right? Like, what yeah, would you have? Other, uh, okay, look, like you. That's like asking accident, Brad Pitt. Like, did like, you like, accidentally? Like, did you, did you act, like? Is it true? Did you accidentally become a? Star. like yeah. is the video of you in the library that's the first thing that ever leaked yes and you just did that what were you just feeling yourself i didn't leak it i was webcamming so i was working and i did a webcam show in the library and then it's like months later somebody posted it so i never had the intentions of being famous i just right. was making money so what were you gonna do if you really didn't fall uh, in a I had dropped out of school, so I think I would have just been a webcam girl for a really long time. I think that if the library thing didn't happen, I would have got heavily into webcamming. Like, there's a lot of girls where that is their main job. That's like, they're in our industry, but it's strictly webcamming. So I probably would have gone is that Is webcamming route. just not fucking anyone? It's just you alone? I mean, I was fucking my ex-boyfriend on cam, which got me in trouble one time. So Where? Uh, on my free cams, like you can't. I got like the library thing was my third strike. So oh, you can't do public. Yeah, you can't do public. You can't bring a guy on cam, which I did. And then one time, I accidentally fell asleep on cam. <laughs> what? So you're not you allowed mean? to sleep, or Why? like on my free cams, you're just not allowed to sleep. People pay for that shit now. Like, yeah, you on like, TikTok and stuff, but it's like on Twitch and stuff like that. That was ten years ago. Like there was very different rules for everything. You, you should know? do that. It was very, very different when I first started versus now. And I feel like that's such like an old thing. Like, I feel like the older bars would say that because back then it was very, very different. But even from when I got in, even though I'm not that old, like, it's still very different now. Is it because, like, we're becoming so much more exposed to this shit that our tolerance for what's weirder or crazier is lower, right? It's like, you know, like we're immune to school shootings now right yeah. pretty much or like it was like back when i first started being a star was like such a big thing that when i first started i wouldn't allow people to call me a star because i had only done webcamming the library video i hadn't done professional scenes yet so i was like you can't call me a star because i am not a star like a star i'm just somebody that does you know webcamming and stuff there's like a lot of people that do porn. there's very few like stars actually like That's people that I are said you are i know i am now but it's yeah. been 10 years but um yeah i think now and just even saying that everyone's like yeah so what everyone has hands everyone does like yeah, it's because, a lot less of a statement than it used to right. be you and know? now it's also not as big of a deal because it yeah, became but the more stars yeah and back then when i yeah, was so. when i first started <laughs> there wasn't many ways to become super rich like um crypto everything hadn't taken off like it when i first started off it was like i was making good money and that was rare for people from salem oregon like there wasn't many people around where my hometown that had a lot of money where are you from Salem, Oregon. Where's that? I'm, I'm, um, I have no idea where that Oregon's is. Oregon's a state above California. Oh, so oh, she said Oregon. I'm tripping. I thought it was this. It was like one word. Country? I'm fucking bugging no, out. No, Oregon's a state above California. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know where Oregon is. I know where Oregon is. How small Salem's, Salem? Um, I think it's, you know, it's not super big. I think it's pretty small, but it's just like, it's just a capital, you know, when you, no big deal. It's the capital of Oregon? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, drop. whatever, who cares? Okay, okay. But yeah, there's not, <laughs> there was like not a lot of people that came out of there that ha- were famous or had money. Yeah. Back then. You and the now it's Are like, you the one of the most famous people from Salem, Oregon? I think so, but now it's like anyone, like anyone made it in crypto and there's like so many more people driving around with nice cars in Salem, Oregon, you know? But when I first started out, mm-hmm. if it was like, Yo, I had to fucking suck dicks to get to where I'm at, and now people just fucking on their computer, just clicking trading buttons. shit like they're just right. fucking I had rich. To suck dick I for had to suck Ferrari. so much dick to get where I'm at. Like I was in the trenches ten years ago. You really were. And now it's That's just so what much makes easier. You a star. Thank you. You've earned it. I feel old. Is 29 old and 
I just think in general, living out in LA, it is now because all the people I hang out with are like people I meet. They're like twenty twos. Yeah. I'm like, what am I doing in the same fucking club as you guys? Like, why? I think that's why I don't go out in it's LA bad. because I'm thirty nine. I'm another decade. I'm literally seventeen years older than half these kids, and it's so weird for me. I it's feel so like odd. that that meme. Right? Where's that? The Steve Buscemi meme where he's got like the skateboard and it's like, hey kids, like. What about like when Dave Portnoy when he does when he has the podcast with the TikTokers? <laughs> it's yeah, it's, it's like the same shit, no? <laughs> I, I just, I mean, I honestly feel he's probably more in touch, right, <laughs> than than me in that regard. I just feel way out of touch. I don't know any of these trends. I mean, I kind of keep up with it. I, it's kind of like very easy for me to like observe those things. Mm. It's just like all in your face at, at this point, right? TikTok, Instagram, everything's just. It's just the fidgety. the young the youngins are becoming a little different than we were. The youngins. Like they they're very they're almost like robots when you talk to them. They'll be like they'll be like yeah say that. I'll be like what the fuck is that? They also I'll be yeah, like, what no, does that mean? You just say Val, like, say that. F- like, speak, say that. And I'm like say what? See Val, now you're a piece of shit for that because why? Because I have my own language. Yeah, because you speak with weird New York like lingo Whatever. that I don't understand, and now you're getting upset that other people. Have I mean, bro, it's p- things like OD are not weird. That ass is not you know weird. What OD dead ass. I'm not that ass. I'm not that old, but like. OD? I'm sure you've heard OD before. Yeah, oh, it's the That's like you're overdoing it. It's like you're overdoing it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a grandpa, bro? Yeah, like I don't know the, these terms. I remember fat with a PH. Bro, I relax. Just, I always keep up my my 16 year old brother. Whatever he's saying, you know, then I know that's what the, the hip cool kids are saying these days. Like I said something to the like one of my clients, I'm, like I was cutting his hair, and I'm like, so you want your hair cut like this? And he's like, yeah, type. Type? I'm like, what the fuck is type? Tight. No, he's like, he's like, yeah, type. Meaning like, yeah, something like that. That's what he means by saying type. So he shortens Just say something. something like that. It, That's not even a shortening of that. Type. This doesn't make sense. What is type? <laughs> But it's just crazy, right? Maybe he means like go to work. That's my like, type. type. Type it up. That's my type. Like, That's yeah. my type. Yeah. I like talk to him and like the entire Are conversation. You like <laughs> people? <laughs> Bro, maybe. <laughs> I might be you should be the official barber of the Special Olympics. <sighs> just bring a bowl. That's a good just, idea. <laughs> dude, you should give haircuts at the Special Olympics. You'll get so much sympathy business from the other side. People will be like, yo, that kid. Give. I used to give a haircut to like, you know, those camps like where the. You know, I don't know how to say it correctly. Because I'll say, it. just whisper just in my ear. I'll say all just the bad shit. people. You know, they bring, <laughs> they have those people. They have like a home attendant that brings them into the barber shop. And oh, those, in case they, do they uh, take yeah, them yeah, down? Yeah. No, nah, he's <laughs> like flail. He'll like make a crazy noise. Like I don't want to do it. It's a little I fucked can't. up. And then he'll be like, Jimmy, and he'll like have to yell at him. And it goes like, Bleh! you know. And, and he's in my hair? chair, and I have to cut his hair. It's not a lot of money in it. There's not a lot of money. There's no money in charity unless you publicize it. Point. Right then, people go like, "Oh, I, he's such a I good person." I find that shit corny, though. I can't money. do it. I know it's for money, but I can't do it. It's what just do you like, mean? like give twenty dollars to somebody just to fucking put it up on Instagram. It like you know matter. how those guys do that. Yeah, I can't who cares? do it. Why? I feel you. You're helping, helping someone. The homeless, so why right? can't I help myself in the process? Both people are benefiting. Why should only one? And what you're? Yeah, I guess. I just right? can't do it. It's I'd just ra- not my thing. Think about it this way: Would you rather get twenty dollars a homeless man or not get twenty dollars? Actually, I would never, never give a homeless man in LA any money. <laughs> Why? Because they could fucking have Malibu You give homeless views. people money in, in LA? No. <laughs> um, actually, I'm more so like, not like when I'm driving and I'll like stop if someone's on the side of the road, but I don't know if I'm like parked in front of them or something. You feel bad? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. This one time I was like, they were sitting somewhere and I was trying to park there and they were like, oh, you can park here. And then I felt awkward getting out of the car. I was like, oh, do you guys like want anything like and all i had to offer them was like joints and shit and like two dollars so i was like oh i wish i had more money and i gave him like a freaking joint and then but then i went and got a tattoo and when i came out the guy had like shit shittily like washed my rooms like he washed them but like it was a bad Worse. job like it was a really bad job and he was like oh i washed them but but like I was like, okay, like I don't have anything else to give you. Like I don't know what you want from me. I didn't ask for that, but I had like one joint left. I was like, oh, I guess here you go. Like that's all he wanted, though. But I'm but like, I'm not about to just. Not sure that's all he wanted. Like if I stop and charity. they're there on the side. I mean, I would, but what am I going to give someone money every single time I drive around LA? They're I on every you. fucking corner, every block, Look. everywhere, and then it's like. 
or I'll help somebody in my life that needs help. Like, I don't know. I'd rather save right. it for somebody right. that I actually care about versus like a right. stranger. I don't know this guy's decisions. He could have fucking <laughs> 10 women escaped, done his time, right. and now hanging out on these corners. Correct. Like, bro, like, why would I ever give that guy money? Right. right. But if you have a friend that needs some help, like, yeah, at least you know where it's going. Yeah. yeah, I have enough people that ask me for help in my personal life. Like, I don't need to give it out to strangers. Yeah, I feel you. I feel that's a good. I, that's a good mindset, right? Do you have a lot of people ask you for money? Yes. Ugh. Like a lot. Yes. Really? Yeah, because it's like yes. the because you know we see the bags, the shoes, the vacation. So everyone's like, "Oh, this bitch got money." So like, let's hit her up. And everyone knows Kendra's the nicest. So really, people ask you for money like that? That do you have to Why? turn people you gave down? It out a couple times. I don't turn people down. Damn. You don't. I'm gonna send a Venmo request <laughs> after this fucking episode. Um, I just I care about people, and if they're asking me for help, um. I'm going to help them, yeah. Because it's like I make money so easily, it feels almost like. Is it easy though? Wrong. Honestly, no. I mean, I like I could cry about it. Like it affects me quite a lot, but I don't think like what, it affects I wouldn't you a lot let that them you make know that. Easily? No, I think no. It, it affects-, affects me a lot that they ask me like. You know, it's like, I, I don't really want to get into no. specifics, but like, it's like someone like in my family that constantly asks me for money and I eventually kind of in my head, I'm like, I don't think that they actually need my help, you know, or they like, what would they do without me? They have to be able to survive. They survived this long get a job. without Correct. my help. But then they found out how much money I was making. And then now it's like, oh, I need money for this or that. So the next thing I know, I've given them like a hundred thousand dollars of my money I go to my tax guy and he's like, "Where did this money go, bro? I can't fuck like hundred bands is a lot of money. You need a yeah. Jew. In That's your a life. down payment for you an for investment property. <laughs> you need a Jew. Yeah, I do. yeah, yeah. So it just kind of sucks. It's like I feel like I get taken advantage of, but um, I would rather help them. I don't know how to explain it. I, I feel you though. I understand what you're saying. You feel I would rather help them and them actually like not need it then not help them and them actually need it you know i get what you're saying but you definitely got to start cutting some people off because that's grimy because then it's also it's kind of because yeah. then people take offense to that they're yeah, like but what, what, why all of a sudden you don't have it then they're like look at right. your life right versus my life like do you really need that but, but, yeah, but you got at the end of the day her dream is to fucking just exist and be you know like she said multiple houses and everything you probably could have bought multiple houses by now yeah i thought about that right the, and the you could have been living money, this great I life could have, but i yeah i've loaned it out to two different places and it's yeah it took a lot of my money but i would rather that like do people ever help. come back and they're like yo thank you for helping me out like here's some money back <laughs> what never uh, right not really but like no the person i did loan 100k to like this was to it was for an investment thing that they're supposed to get the money back for, and then it's supposed to come back to me. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Hopefully it's it like, does. Honestly. Andrew likes to get fucked on yeah. camera and off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you I have don't... a financial advisor, by the way. How does it work no. in the field of she like four stars? Jewish people. You don't do. The, do you guys sure usually get do. financial advisors? I'm sure people do. I'm just not responsible at all, so I don't. But I just like. I just feel like I work so hard. Why wouldn't, like, if I want to buy a purse or I want to buy this vacation or that, like, whatever I want, I'm going to get from myself because I work so hard. What's the fucking point? Like, I can't take it with me when I die. So what am I going to save up? You know, like, I need to save every single dollar and not get myself what I want in the moment. What's the point of life? You do the mental gymnastics. I do it all the time. I'll do one more gig or I'll just suck one more dick. Right? Yeah. In that sense, right? Like, dude, there's times where Estee and I'll be on vacation and I'm like, should we just ball out right now? Yeah. And she'll be like, do we want to? I'll be like, I'll just take one shitty gig. Like, cool. I'll just ask my management to book me some party somewhere and I'll just do a party for three hours. I'll suffer through it. But right now, that's all it takes. I guess yeah. my immigrant, so my me, immigrant like, mindset doesn't really allow me to think that way. When I'm on vacation and I am like splurging or I do mentally like assign myself like, yo, I'm going to go to the store and I am going to get this Louis bag or I'm going to go and do this and that. I, yeah. I make sure that I set my like schedule in my brain for that moment. But at the same time, I know that if I'm not responsible enough and I burn through all the bread, I'm not going to have any leverage or I'm not going to be able to do anything, right? So then yeah. I, I kind of like, kind of backfires on me and I'll be like, yo, if I don't have this money backing me, because I've been in moments like this, right? Where right, I gave money out, Kendra, I have no money. Kendra can make money like this, right? Because of her career. 
as well, right? Yeah. You can you can literally be like, fuck, let me go in my hands right now and send out a photo. Like yeah. I'll run in the bathroom, take a photo of my pussy, post it on fans I get it. and I can make fucking twenty grand but you wanna in twenty minutes and be like, Cool, where are we going tonight? I was yeah. feeling sad, now I'm gonna be in Paris in but six But my hours. immigrant brain is like but you should still have a, a fund for a rainy day, right? You nobody knows what how life this turns out. A rainy day I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. That's the beauty. I just I feel like maybe there's a point there's a point when I like I realized how easy it was to make money or how fast I can and then my brain switched. Like I've always been the same person since before the library thing but my the way that i think has switched because now like you said i'll just be like oh i'll just work like two more times and that pays for that or i start looking at how expensive things are in terms of how long how it would take me how much time i have to put into that and it's not a lot these days like at all so well especially for you probably right yeah. you set up a leverage so already so a, to you it's like some easier some people yeah there's just a point where you just start making so much money or so fast that it switches in your brain that you're just like I feel you, you I guess you got to that, that tier where to you it's like do you but have I a, would probably be a lot better off if I thought about my savings and like if I had put that thought into yeah. things and had that sort of pattern or like way of doing things just then like I would it probably out, you know? be a lot better off because then you could have a crib like, somewhere you're in Europe it's hard that since your mid 20s to be making that kind of money since I was 19 right since 19 to be making like you know 40 50 bands a month like fuck you money for a teenager to a 20 year old right like that's an it's like it's like outside of you wanting to like fly private and living justin bieber's life right like you pretty much do can do everything else you can eat at the same restaurants yeah. you can sit courtside you can have all the same experiences minus this significant <laughs> jump in wealth so at 25 years old like yeah she's just <coughs> running wild yeah, I guess time. I guess yeah, the timing of it is also like what kind of like jades it gives you like a jaded kind of like outlook on on not saving the money. So think about it this way. If you can make 5 grand a haircut, right? Mhm. Mm and you're on vacation with your girl and she's like, <laughs> "I want a Celine bag and it's 25 grand," right? <laughs> Right? Do you just go? Must be nice. <laughs> do you just go? Do you just go? Is that how much it costs? Twenty five is a not lot for of money for a bag. Okay. So insane. say the bag is twenty grand. Say the Damn. bag is twenty grand. Well, Birkins are usually twenty. Right, twenty bands. grand bag, and you make five grand a haircut because you're like the most famous barber in LA. <laughs> okay. Right. Whatever the reason right, is. Right. I get it. Like I can. Right. I know. Value. If it's like a five make... grand bag, then in his head he's like, "Oh, that's one haircut. He's more likely to I get do, it." But even four haircuts. I get what you're yeah. trying to say. Yes. The value of it turns different. I understand. It's just about how she said how you what your time will you get paid for your time. And it's just like, that's, dude, right. I and never it, ate at nice restaurants when I was like 23 years old and I had a blast eat, living and eating in New York, right? But just as time went on and I made more money, you were like, oh, I have access to these new places and it's all negotiable. Be like, do I want to spend $500 on dinner? Be like, oh, well, I live in New York. I get paid $1,000 a night to photograph parties at the time. Dude, that's, ha that's one party I can life. pay for that meal, right? So... It becomes, yeah, I feel you. It becomes relative to what you're capable of bringing in, right? So I guess, yeah, you're right, you know. But yeah, I guess it's just also upbringing, watching certain you situations, should. and just like oh, sometimes people are tight with money, then they get a lot of money, then they lose a lot of money, or some people don't have any money, make a lot of money, and they just keep making a lot of money, right? Right. Yeah. So it's like but it just all, depends. She just the only thing that could happen is Kendra gets canceled for being like racist, but then that. And that would be the only thing that could cut off her funk, <laughs> right? There's nothing she That's can not do possible. that'll make her pussy less valuable. I get it. So, and she has access to it at all times. Which is insane. Which is it's great, a gold mine, right? right? To build a brand around your image like that, right? To just be I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to bring <laughs> in the financial. So cool. I'm trying it's to bring, so I get dumb. it, but I'm just trying to bring in the financial advice in the sense of like. Her financial advice she says she wants to have, she could she wants to have houses everywhere, right? So I'm saying yeah. like, yo, right, you so could have probably had like two or three cribs already, probably, right? I could have. Right, yeah. But she could also just take a month and hide and not answer anyone's text who asked for borrowing money. What are the chances of that though? money. But also, someone should just make an AI for you yeah. that hits well, you up, great. that hits you up as a long lost relative and begs for money and you send them money and then five years later, they're like, hey, Kendra, look how much you saved. That would be nice. Like, uh, there should be, I'll do that. I'll text you okay. every week for cash <laughs> and then You're I'll give it back to you. For, and then five years, I'll be like, Kendra, here's $5 million I borrowed from you. Go mm -hmm. buy the house. I'm done. I put money away. I'm not like 
a complete not no i'm sure singer. i'm sure you do i'm not saying yeah. you're, you're, I'm, i wouldn't say that you are but i'm just thinking in my head i'm like yo if that money's coming in at such a high pace it's great like yo you can retire so, so fast that's insane <laughs> like you would think i don't know i spent a lot of my money i guess i don't really know where it all goes like if you're having fun and she likes nice things but i'm saying if you cut out the fun for two three years and then you can have fun for 40 but the, right? right the world mm-hmm. the world is so shitty dude cut out the fun for three years was a fun phrase when my dad told it to me in the 90s when it was like glossy like well the world is awesome and you're like just take time <laughs> i cut out the fun You'll for three back. years i feel great yeah, now you come back dude you cut out the fun for three years now you're like the world's so depressing i might come back and it's gonna be worse i feel like, you i want to party and have a good time during this garbage i feel like i'd rather have a fun time when i'm younger like yeah. Or we gonna be like sixty years old and then be like, oh, now I since I did all of that, now I can go out and party and stuff no, no, like no, that. Gonna, like I'm fucking old as shit. I barely want to go out now. I'm fucking twenty eight. Twenty eight. <laughs> 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 I'm so high. <laughs> I was like almost forgot my age. Yeah, I feel that. Like I mean, listen, I, I agree with you. Anything. You want to be doing shit when it matters, and I get yeah. that. But you know, I posted this thing on Instagram, and it doesn't have anything to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> but it kind of does maybe but it's like about life so i posted this thing today it kind of just talks about you know the phrase a shoulder to cry on becomes a dick to ride on i'm familiar <laughs> you know that phrase yeah of course okay um do you it's think sad. guys and girls could be friends without at some point someone breaking the, the boundary of friendship can you have oh my this is just my co-workers honey like they're just the boys right could they be actual friends with each other or is one point someone wants to fuck the other i feel like oh man i have friends that are just friends but at some point they did tell me that they were like in love with me and couldn't be my friend anymore because of it but then later we're like oh i would rather have you in my life as like a friend than not at all Right, I think that, right they're, they're just saying that I personally think like, I yeah. her down again. But not only that, <laughs> not only that, but I think that's a teaser to see what your reaction is to it. And then yeah. if like your reaction is no good, they're like, oh shit, but I still want to be friends. <laughs> it's like yeah. now that you know, now that they're already kind of getting you out of the picture, they're like, oh shit, fuck, I fucked up. She doesn't feel yeah. the same way. I don't think it's possible. You don't think it's possible? Maybe I mean, look, if they're yeah. ugly and it's like easy. Same. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't work. But then the guy, <laughs> but don't you feel like the guy's only friends with you because they're trying to fuck you um, at some point? Probably, yeah. I, my girl is very good looking and she's in a class full of guys. Like, Does that bother you? It doesn't bother me. But she, boy, boy, she starts telling me that, yo, we're just homies. And I'm like, bro, mm. like, <laughs> yeah. like these dudes, these dudes obviously think you're attractive. I have a dog. You, I'm sure she's you, right. you know what I mean? Sure like, she's, yeah. But I'm saying guys are going to be guys, right? They're going to still find her attractive. No matter how yeah. nice they're behaving, they're not crossing any boundaries. It doesn't mean that in the back of their head, they don't think she's hot. Yeah. Dude, but I was so... Guys will fuck anything. At the end of my, like, like <laughs> trying to figure out how to, like, just, all right, I'm ready for a girlfriend. And I was just kind of at the end of my road with it. So Estang, when we first started dating, she told me, that she has a guy friend that when she said she's like don't be alarmed but like i have a guy friend that when we say hello i kiss him on the lips and i and i sat there and i swallowed oh. that wait excuse me what for like Ashley a week said that? yeah yeah and i said and and excuse i me, sat on it for a week and i was like Kirill, you're like 35 you should be mature about these things like <laughs> shit it's not you're 22 you shouldn't be jealous kiss on the lips and i'm like in my head i'm like what kind of hello is that do i have the do i have it to keep it together like could that I don't know. But what does that mean? She never did. And I talked to her about it. And she's like, I don't know why I said that. Like, I don't do that anymore. Like, But I don't get it. What kind of friendship is this? It's just a hello, I guess. I had a friend that I would I would greet like that or something. I would kiss him all the time. But no, he wanted to fuck me. (laughs) Yeah. And now we're not friends anymore, so... No shit. I mean, bro, if you guys are saying hello to each other, kissing each other on the lips, what kind of hello? People in Italy don't do that. People in in no, like, for thing, Armenians yeah. don't even do that. <laughs> like Italians will do it. Like, Never. yeah, congrats. <laughs> Not on the lips. Not on the lips. That's <laughs> would you be weird out congrats. if I kissed you on the lips? What? Just randomly? Yeah. You like, guys? it's your birthday. Like, congrats. Well, that it's was a hard thing. fucking yeah, slap like, on my yeah, shoulders. Yeah, just well, because I'm letting you know I'm a man. I'm about to kiss I you like, like a woman. No, guys, I don't know. It's a little weird. But my I bro. kiss my girlfriends. Yeah, why is that okay? Well, like, hello every time. No, every time. You guys go to Sephora like. Give her a kiss? Not every time. Let's go no, get makeup. Just mostly when we're drunk, I guess. I mean, I'm sharing joints with everyone. 
So like, that's what's not the, the same difference? Girl, bro. I don't think you, you should can't. go around kissing works. people, girl. <laughs> on the lips? <laughs> no. You're telling me. You're telling me. It's like me. when your grandpa goes to kiss you on the lips. Are you fucking serious? And you're like. <laughs> Oh, because I'm too old. And he turns to like kiss you on the cheek. And he's got the breath. <laughs> and also, it's the crazy stubbly beard too, right? They kiss you, they smack close, and you're just like, like all right, bro, just chill out. Getting very close to my face, very close to my mouth. Yeah. So you you ask me this question? Been. What? You don't know where that mouth's been, bro. Know. This kid's mouth insane. <laughs> he, he, every pickle on the planet is <laughs> without mouth. Dude, what do you mean? My mouth's been everywhere. You you got a dirty Pickles. little mouth on you. I honestly. know I have a dirty mouth. I probably have the dirtiest yeah, mouth in this room. Honestly. And no, it's crazy because right. you don't go to the dentist. Why? Oh, Jesus. Why don't I go to the dentist? <laughs> I have a dentist. And also, you know what it is about your lips that piss me off? Yeah. Like, really get me really tired? Yeah. Is I'm that dead. they're mad dry all the time. But dude, because I smoke me. so much weed and I don't drink enough water. Because if, if you kiss me, you should better wow, be moist. He's spent yeah. a lot of time analyzing your mouth. Yeah, he's a homo. Like, he's like, See, good. Your, now they're he moist. just looks at it like he wants well, it or I just something. Keep them, I keep them not moist so they don't attract people like you. <laughs> now, your lips were juicy. You'd want to kiss. Because, yo, at I'm least dead. keep your mi- lips moist, my bro. You know what I mean? Why? Shit's she, a mad, like, shit's look like the Sahara Desert over there. Really? Moist yeah. Lips. A cleaned house expects a visitor is an old <laughs> fucking Chinese <laughs> proverb. So if you shave your asshole. And that's how you say proverb? Yeah. I just say I'm proverb. Dead. Yeah. The asshole. Yo, that's crazy. No, crusty lips is no good for sure. Um, Jesus. But yeah, would you, would I just, I just don't understand the question of like, well, how would you feel if you were my friend and you kissed me on the lips? I would not like that. That's kind of annoying. It's also not alpha, bro. Are you kissing me on the lips like that? I think, I'll, I think kissing also, me on the lips Also, you're taller than me. So part. if you look down and give me a kiss like that, I'm kind of like, yo, I don't. I bend my neck. Yeah, it's not We're alpha, the same height bro. on the couch, dude. It's not alpha. Correct. Also, at what age you're do you think You're saying that to a guy that literally puts on a tutu and a fucking wig on a Friday hey, just because we're all fucking getting drunk. Like, that's a manly thing I know, to that's do. the point. That's but not we're manly? We're arguing about alpha with I'm, Kirill. I know, clearly. Yeah. Well, alpha is forever. looks better than me most days when he's dressed up like a woman. It actually pisses me off, too. I'm kind of annoyed because I could be making Kendra money <laughs> if you can go I, those you can I, be your, I don't know why you're not like catfishing guys with all these pictures that you take like you literally just that's should. illegal what like as a photos hi I'm Kendra today <laughs> it's just, no but you could like I don't know you could if you wanted to <laughs> have you ever that's fucked a fan everyone I fuck is a fan please ah oh, what an answer <laughs> that's a crazy that's answer that's such a Drake line everyone that's something <laughs> but Drake it's true be. cause people ask me that all the time I'm like yeah everyone's no, a no I mean like fan. pedestrian um not yeah, like I yeah. have sick if they're hot like of course why wouldn't I isn't that the crazy part the difference between a, this guy's being a creep or this guy's like, oh my God, he's hitting on me, is yeah. just based on looks. Yeah. True. If you didn't and know Kuril as a friend, if he was a pedestrian, would you give him a shot at, on a date? No. I like black guys, though. Like, <laughs> oh, Kuril looks God. nothing thank like God, it was what not I enough. like. Was the, that, you were trying to set her up <laughs> to Kuril's call a great guy, but, but he, he's white, so that's just like... No, but I feel you. Yeah, but what if you I got a tan? A crazy tan in Central Pay? You're telling me you wouldn't pass? <laughs> no, he's not tall enough either. No, she that's likes... Crazy. She wants a Jamaican black guy <laughs> with a lot of money. We, Her and I have I'm spent tall. years yeah, trying to find... Man's never been to Marquee when it's shut down, eh? Wait, you don't know how to do the Jamaican accent? Do the Jamaican accent and get a tan. Maybe you could pass grow some dreads i could be a stay-at-home dad i know kendra would allow me to if i was just a tall if i stretch if i got a uh, uh, knee bls <laughs> knee bls i get a knee bl so i get like another foot I i'll be know. like six ten. there's a lot of things that go into i'll get pigment surgery what i want i'll fake a jamaican accent i could probably be a can you do a fake jamaican accent right now <laughs> Can you please just one time? May want some red stripe. Oh shit! And a beef patty. Oh, okay, baby. Yo, that's not bad. Uh, we don't really want to tell you yeah. nothing, right? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Please, it wasn't me. <laughs> Wait, what? That guy wasn't a. Uh, they're not Jamaican. The He's Sean Paul Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's crazy. Why like, oh Pundikaki? Say it. That was the best thing or ever. Say Why Pundikaki? Why Pundikaki? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good. No, that's great. What I just so said. You said like it. Why no my kaki? You don't think a Jamaican accent would annoy the fuck out of you? Yeah, I think I said that because I went to Jamaica a bunch and I was like, dang, these people are so cool. And like, <laughs> what if I found like a hot one? But now I feel like I don't want a Jamaican. I mean, I would like maybe one that's like 
like oh my family is Jamaican or we're from Jamaica but we haven't lived there in a long time you know you are threading like, such a needle <laughs> I'm telling you if I was to go down the list like it's so long it's like yeah who's gonna ever find somebody like that you know what's, at the, like, what's at the bottom of the list bare minimum oh man a job I know what I think is on there, but then there's a lot of things that I've put up with in the past where I'm like, damn, I guess that's it. I think bare minimum, um, have a car. That is, that's important. <laughs> that's yeah. a good one. And and what's, the, what's the, at the top of the list? Um, Cause yeah, like, I have six, a car four. that's over six, four. Okay. And Jesus. tall, dark and handsome. Those are, that's at the top. And has his own money. Yeah, has his own money, his own apartment. Like he could have a roommate that's like a guy or whatever. But like, you are not want to date place. a guy with a roommate. Stop do, it. I don't care. Yes, like, you do. I think if you have your own bedroom and everything, and your roommate's you don't not a walk fucking weirdo. Naked? No, I'll walk around naked in my place. Do you find yourself dating guys that make less money than you? Yes. A lot of times. Yes. By Every how much? Time. By how much? A lot. By like forty k. Like guys. By like 60k do you like broke guys because no, they like don't have broke anything guys going on like don't have anything really in their bank account at all will you like those guys because they can hang out on the couch it's not a preference it's a pattern i heard a joke on a meme they say that bro guys have sex better because they have a lot more to prove <laughs> is that the truth i don't know i pick such trash man i honestly i couldn't tell you i don't think that i'm a model for for relationship advice men. oh yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> relationship you. advice i feel you picking great guys mm -mm. it's okay that's I think you it's hard it. to find someone that makes as much money as me that is like that i don't know they get cocky i guess or like then every girl wants him so it's like why the fuck would he settle down with me i think i pick guys that like are beta have a you? lot less because then i seem like a lot more to them are you more like the alpha in the relationship every time i can be submissive to someone if they're like if they're taller than me you know i can't be like <laughs> i can't be calling someone shorter than me daddy like it yeah. just feels weird <laughs> Like, I would call the guy daddy who was way younger than me just because he was like 6'9". He's so fucking tall. I was like, yeah, he's daddy, even though he's a fucking child. But Not a child. Sorry. Over 21. <laughs> They're children <laughs> Just still. young. And then you go to dinner, nice dinner. Do they even reach for their wallet? Yeah. I get, yeah. Most just reach, do. right? <laughs> yeah. That's about it, right? Like, Baby. Like, <laughs> the, the you got this? He reaches yeah. and goes, wait, it's in the car. <laughs> You need to go to like instead of um, you should be hanging at like the Essence Festival. What the fuck is that, bro? What are you kidding me? That's like Black Excellence. That's where like all the best black people meet up every year, and they just do like Hennessy throws parties. I used to shoot them. Like okay. you need to hang out at events where you're going to meet these people. Yeah, they, they literally like happen every year. Parties. I'm going to get you plugged in all the Hennessy events. Thank you. Because you're going to meet That's like some tall my man dude. Because Hennessey those event. guys are like have their shit together over there, and they're you know you're going to meet yeah. some cool black guys. I think I'll settle down with like an older, richer man. Like Morgan Freeman. He's too old. That guy is like really old. But people shrink as they get old, so just rem just remember. Okay, <laughs> I'll start off really, really tall then. I also kind of want like a basketball player, but I just feel like maybe a normal guy, like maybe a guy that does real estate or something. You know, he's like rich, but he doesn't like he's not too popping. So people like <laughs> girls don't really. So you want get jealous. Him. You get jealous of like a popping dude. Yeah, I, no, I don't get jealous. I just don't like when guys like Too I'm trying attention? to hook up with or that I like talk about other girls or like how hot they are. Like, it's like my eye will literally start twitching. Why? Because you get stressed I'm from like, that, right? Anytime they mention another girl, I'm like, don't fucking talk about another girl. I just immediately like I just get turned off. Like, yeah, why are you talking about someone about how hot somebody else is in front of me? Like, you're territorial when it comes to your man. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I pick ones that are like losers. So then other <laughs> girls don't want him, you know? He's kind of, he's very lucky to have me. That's how I want them to feel. I feel you. But I think it's just because I get nervous. If I'm around like a guy that has shit, his shit together and money and he's attractive, I get really nervous and insecure. Why? And, because like, you think you have to fight for... No, I just no, get because he has options. I feel like down on myself. I get insecure. Yeah, know? because he has options, right? Because you know that he has leverage. Yeah. 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 What do you think? It's like being ugly in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> You're just sitting around I being never like, be oh the my God, I hope they don't fucking realize. I want to be the hotter one in the relationship, but then I want like a really hot guy so it just doesn't make sense make him get a blind guy 
That's why you get ugly guys that are poor. <laughs> yeah, that's what she I mean, does. Good, she good looking guys that are poor, I'm saying. I know, that's what she's been doing. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just confirming. So. Do you give them an allowance? No. Have you ever given a boyfriend an allowance? No. Good. Do you spoil them? Yeah. Hell yeah, she spoils them. You ever them. bought a car for a boyfriend? Yes. Oh, Jesus, what, like My a used car? My ex that I hate, that I gave everything to, he, I bought him a car, I bought his family a car i bought his mom a trailer to live in i was paying their rent when we broke up i was still paying his family's rent because he like uh told me that i made a commitment and that it was would be fucked up to leave them wow hanging so i I was paying their rent was he white and i bought him like (laughs) camera equipment i bought him a bike i bought him drones i like funded his career for all of that i'm way too and what'd you get back out of it like the trauma trauma <laughs> just I been asking Kendra for all the trauma this time. and a love for black men Kendra just think about it this way next time you want to buy something for a guy you're dating just buy it for me because okay. I'll never break your heart and <laughs> okay. then we can have a trailer and our own drone business <laughs> that's crazy we can have two cars and a bike I don't think I could trust anyone although I do uh, appreciate your friendship and love you and trust you with my life I guess I don't really trust anyone at all I mean that's not a bad thing you are in my inner circle because when I faked my own death, you were one of the most important elements of the fake Thank death. Thank you. I did play a great role in that. There's I like, like to think I gave a pretty convincing. You have, well, so because I couldn't be on social media because I'm dead. <laughs> I had to so pretend we, like I was depressed. We told Kendra like Which Kendra. Wasn't hard. <laughs> I just well, yeah. I well, disappeared for a couple days like I always do. We were like, listen, Kendra's emotional on social media, <laughs> so this, she'd be the best ringer to have in on this fake death situation because she'll sell it as real. Because uh, just Linda pushing it or me being quiet and Estee being offline and Molly wasn't going to acknowledge it. So yeah. we were <laughs> like, Kendra. A great, a good yeah. person. So we were like, Kendra, would you play the sad close friend to Karel just fine? You know, and she put on a performance I am of an her actress. life. Chat. I aim to be female performer of the year, <laughs> so or a nominee. So I, I have to, you know, you see? give a good acting. You see? She's, she's an act. Would you ever want to do real acting? I don't know. It just seems like a lot of work. Because sometimes when I'm on set, like the other day it was like 14 hours. I'm just like, could you imagine like an actual movie? You have to do that like every day. Well, yeah, it's it's rough. Like, yeah, but the money's crazier, and it's like well, it depends, right? Yeah, and you're like more people get. Well, who do you think more people see? More people see like regular a movie. movie, regular movies. Obviously, I mean, I look, look as your adult film booker. <laughs> um, by the way, that's my newest title. Yeah, our momager. Newest, ha- newest hat I wear. Uh, Momager. You guys killed it on the uh, Oliver Tree music video. It was very easy. I had one thing to do, and that was kiss, Have you, kiss the midget on the cheek, and then... The midget was freaky. Give a face. Was it fun? Oliver Tree, you like yeah, his music? Cool. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, I do but, like his music. I think he's really cool. Is it, fun, is it fun to you to be a part of it? Like, the scene wasn't fun, right? Like, you just had, like, and that. Whatever, like you yeah. can't, I think right, it's fun to it be more, a part of it. Right, to be like, okay, this is a really talented man. Like, he's number 350 on Spotify, which is massive. Then so you're like, cool. Like, I'm part of a piece of his art. I feel like doing music videos is, like, the last cool thing that I can do that, like, back in the day would be a huge thing. Like, back in the 2000s or whatever, early 2000s, being a part of a music video was, like, huge. And I think now, I don't know, I still get that excitement out of it. I feel like it's lost a lot of it. It's so cool. And like these days, like a lot of girls would be like, oh, I'm not getting paid. I'm not anything. Like, why would I be in the video? But I just, I don't know. I thought it was so cool. cool And I like being able to like pull it up on YouTube and like show people. And I'm like, it's marketing. And it's marketing. People go like, oh, Kendra's in this video. Like, that's dope, right? But sometimes it's worth doing stuff like that as an exchange of, you guys are in a sphere of entertainment. So it's good to exchange that energy with people that are actually on the yeah. same level but Dude, maybe he, different yeah. like Oliver, different sections but yes for her by name oh, he texted me he's like yo can you get kendra i know she's got my lyric tattooed on her i do oh really <laughs> i did yeah i did <laughs> i had life goes on and on and on on my on me but i was kind of like really fucked up when i got it and it later looked like it said life goes onion oh really and so that's also I, true i was that's what he said he was like yeah that was the original lyric like joking around but yeah i covered it up but it's like still there 
That's cool though. Okay. Imagine Oliver still, has to see it. I know that's freaked me out because I didn't think about that when doing the music video. But could you imagine if he was like, "Yeah, we want the tattoo in it." But Carol, grab the sharpie in the bathroom. <laughs> Literally terrified, but yeah, that was so much fun. I was, and it came out so fast too. Dude, it was so good, so yeah. quick, and I kind of fuck with the song. Any but other? I like music? it. The Are last you? music video I was in, Bob Saget was in, and that was like the last Damn, thing Bob he Saget ever, just gonna, just he ever did. What other videos have you been in? That one. It was Designer and Who Kid, Who Kid and Slushy, and then it had we had Bob Saget in it, which was crazy. Like, imagine I turned that down because like I'm not getting paid or whatever. Or, like. I just didn't feel like doing it and I missed it. And that was like one of the last things that Bob Saget was ever like recorded. That's dope. Dude, that's Bob doing. Saget. It's full house. Like He was so cool. He was, was like he? so awesome. Did you guys smoke a joint together? No. I smoked with Seth Rogen though. And like he's one of the other coolest people I've met. Seth Rogen is dope. Yeah. I have his signature tatted on me and that I'm like, I'll never cover that up. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, work a little harder, so Oliver much. Trey. <laughs> no, Seth, Ro- Seth Rogen is dope though. Yeah. yeah. He, he makes all you have any of his stuff like a house plant yeah, stuff yeah I won like I was doing an auction and I won like a vase made by him mm. and don't forget as good as Kendra treats her ex-boyfriend she treats herself better yeah right so the money she's giving away <laughs> is just means pennies on the dollar for what means it went to charity it triples on herself of course that went to so charity all your money goes to charity <laughs> yeah basically no that's cool you should honestly be writing all that charity off I should. You honestly. should have like Kendra's kids. You have a corporation like that. You like do your yeah. Yeah, that's Everyone good. Everyone has to have one now, like that. Yeah. You know. Good. Yeah, wait, wait. Smart. So yeah. tell the tell the what the Seth Rogen thing. How did you get to meet him? I tweeted at him enough times, telling him that Pineapple Express is my favorite movie of all time. Like, I just love that movie, and so eventually he followed me. But he follows a couple other stars. Like, he's just cool like that, and so. I won the vase in charity, like I bid on it. How much you spend? 10K. Love but it. I le- it's for charity. <laughs> but also like, I bid that and I thought somebody would outbid me. Like I figured like one of, you know, somebody with um, money, or, like one of his friends or something. I don't know, anybody would have outbid me, but I just like immediately. You would think he would have outbid you. Did you just say nice how much you, you, you bid 10K. 10K. But I I literally immediately won it. Like it was like, I immediately, they were like, oh, you won it. And so I was like, hey, Seth, I won this vase. Like, do you think maybe I could, you know, meet you and pick it up in person maybe? And he said yes. And so like the day came finally and he like filled it with weed he gave it to oh, me wow. he like smoked with me he gave me a bunch of other house plant stuff really that's cool yeah and then i asked him to like sign my arm and because i was like filling my arm with tattoos and so i immediately like that day went and got it tatted after he signed it that's dope but yeah he's like really cool and his laugh is just like really great in person <laughs> like he has a crazy <laughs> laugh like, it's just, it's it just it's so funny because it's like you hear it all the time in movies and stuff or whatever so to hear it in person it was kind of trippy i know it's nuts it really is a crazy yeah. laugh there's no rhythm to it that annoying though like <laughs> I, all, it's, it's yeah. cute it's cute because that's his sound yeah, i agree but like if i had to wake up to that i'd be like just not everything's that funny. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, imagine yeah. just bursting out laughing I'm like dead. that. He's funny, though. He's an interesting guy. Seth is cool. He's a very talented dude. He wrote a lot of good movies. Mm-hmm. Dude, My he favorite. Used to, yeah. Pineapple Express. Pineapple yeah, Express, best movie of all time. Okay. I have, like, a signed manuscript, you know. It's James not the Franco original, but it's, like, it's a copy of the original. And I'm pretty sure the original exists, so... Sucks what happened with James Franco and, and Seth, though. How they kind of like, you know, they were well, like. Yeah, James Franco mm-hmm. is a, you know, apparently. Well, he had sex with one of his college students or something like that, and that's where it kind of yeah, yeah. took a turn. And Seth Rogen was like, hey, I don't need to be friends with you anymore. He was scared, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> scared of James Franco having sex with college students. I can't. <laughs> it's crazy because, like, the well, Franco's are so wrong because hot. they're his student. That's why it's wrong. Yeah, yeah, they were underage and it's a power imbalance. And they're he, under eighteen. No, they weren't under eighteen. They're college, so they were like you know, what, it's nineteen. Like, it's like a professor. It's like a. Kid, it's unprofessional. Dude. It was just right, unprofessional, yeah. right? And it's like, dude, you're James okay. Franco. Like, you could fuck anything. Like, go fuck non me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, sorry. But he's not black. <laughs> he's not black. It doesn't matter. He's James Franco. Doesn't yeah. Well, which white people ha- are exceptions to your rule? I, I think I would famous? fuck just about anyone except like Jonah Hill. I can't. <laughs> Why? Why? Because he's so dirty. Like, no, thank you. And just <laughs> like everything that came out recently too. Like he's just like a narcissist, al- alpha man. So I'm just like. But no, he's just you. setting the same rules you want to set. He's looking oh, for. Oh, I want to hear this he little troll conversation with Jonah. That's fine. He can do that, but I'm I'm not. He can do that. For, yeah, you're an alpha. You can't have two alphas. You're yeah, like no. Jonah. I need you to stay home. Yeah, like I need. Yeah. Yeah. Any white guy but Jonah. Brad Pitt. What do you think? You like Brad Pitt? I fuck Brad Pitt. Yeah. I would fuck Brad Pitt, dude. Yeah. Bro, Brad George Pitt is Clooney. so good Brad looking at his age. It's ridiculous. Okay, that's. I right. would Mel fuck uh, Harrison Ford. Mel Gibson doesn't like Jews. Who's Harrison Ford? What? Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones? Oh, wow. Consolo. Who's Harrison Ford? He fucking looked at my titties once at a crossroads. Wait, what? He yeah, looked I, was, at your, I passed Ford? by Harrison Ford at a crossroads and he looked right at my chest. What crossroads? Like crossroads, like the vegan place in Hollywood. How did you West know? West I mean, I guess a girl knows when someone's looking at their tits. Yeah, like he walked past me and was like, like looking at them. Like nice. my eyes are up here. He's looking down here. But you would have fucked them. Yeah, I was like honored. I was like, oh my God, Harrison Ford just looked at my tits. Now, if it was just some wow. creepy guy, like. Yeah, you I mean, if it was some creepy old guy, it's whatever, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, it doesn't matter how old or what creepy they look, it's because of who they are. I mean, Brad Pitt like, at 60 yeah. years old looks insane. Like, he looks better than some of my 20 year old friends, bro. It's ridiculous. Like, I fuck a lot of things, so. Fuck tentacles. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes. That's what I forgot. <laughs> Tell me this tentacle story. Right. I, oh my God, I don't know why. I'm like branching out into other um, categories of. So one is like taboo, like, like horror, I guess. So I was shot for hentai, which is, was the tentacle stuff. So I was like on set for 12 hours for two days. So I spent 24 hours filming this scene. Where? Jesus. Um, just like some, one of the shoot houses. It was actually like up past Simi Valley. It was kind of deep, but it was supposed to be, it was like in a barn. Cause I'm gonna, I like find this alien thing. It's like goo and I put it in like a barrel in my barn and I'm doing like experiments on it. I have like a camera set up and I put water on it and stuff and it grows. And eventually it like forms tentacles. And then it like, when I like go and see it, it pulls me like into the barrel basically and fucks me and like p- pulls my clothes off and all this shit. And like, I'm supposed to be like fighting it kind of, but right. so, yeah, then eventually after all of it, it was like really um, a lot of work and it was very exhausting. And my body just like hurt afterwards from like being on the barrel and just working that long but i think it's gonna look pretty the barrel is crazy i think it's gonna look pretty cool i'll show you it looks pretty real i want to see it it's just crazy that what happened to just like a girl taking her tits out and sucking a dick on camera yeah like kendra's like in a barrel with tentacles and her being like real life how did i get here it's real acting i'm I'm a real when you were in the barrel when you were in the barrel in the dark i was thinking about my life were you like how did i get here i literally was no i was going through shit those two days and so i was just facing down in a barrel and the barrel smelt like whiskey like and i was just like oh face God. down getting fucked by a tentacle like some guy holding the end of this tentacle and it just fucking me and i was just like face down in the barrel just like bro what the fuck am i doing here like just i had a lot of thoughts going through my mind oh my god at one time uh, but s- i'm really what's this tentacle made out of is it like a dildo material so these is are like, like mechanical these are me holding them mm- they're not mechanical sorry sorry. i have to like hold them so they have it like the tentacle the the tentacle across me and then they pull it and then they'll play it in reverse so it looks like that tentacle is coming up but we shot it in reverse So everything's in reverse yeah when it's fucking you they're just but when it's fucking me they have like a double-ended tentacle dildo it looks just basically like a double-sided dildo, but tentacles. They fuck me with that. Who's, so like one guy was in charge of that. Who's it's cra- who's time. watching this, bro? Who's watching? Yeah, this was insane. But yeah, it's me acting basically. It's literally gets to a point pretending where. like I don't know. It's grabbing me, but it's kind of cool. Like if the cartoon version is super cool, like I would watch something like that. So I'm interested to see it in real life. It's just a lot of work. But then I shot one recently for Parasited, which is their like sister site. What is that? And so that one's like this bug thing, like, 
jumps into my mouth i swallow it and it's like a parasite so then like i just become this like sex demon like a hungry sex demon and there's this goo like alien goo made out of like what is it tapioca pudding stuff but like with water so it's kind of just like I don't know, just like the slime, and we had to put it in our mouths and like let it drool out and stuff like that. Crazy. And it was really gross. One of the girls kept gagging because she just like couldn't handle it. <laughs> do you do you worry about the men that watch this? No, I think this is better. Honestly, I worry more about like the step family stuff scenarios. I would be more worried about that. Yeah, than, I feel uncomfortable than people at that, that watch shit. this because this is just like creepy, but it's not like I don't know. Right, the step <laughs> category is weird because I'm like I know. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I almost threw up. Dude, that's yeah. the parasite. Will you send me yeah. this so we can use this? Because yeah. that's Instagram. That's safe, but that's fucking creepy, right? That's weird. Dude, it's wow. like the, it's it the creepiest. So it's the creepiest thing I've ever shot. Like, it's the weirdest, creepiest thing, but I'm like excited. It's real yeah. acting. Yeah. Like, I was, I don't know. That's it's cool. more acting than me being like, well, yeah. oh, here's my tits. I feel you. You get to actually now, you know, put in some talent that's and skill. <laughs> crazy it's not crazy. like does your pussy it's get weird. wet during this like are you getting no, off no. this is strictly acting yeah well, other I, you're getting off yeah sometimes i'm more i mean some days are more fun than others but some days are like long and like that it's really little. like it takes a lot mentally but i feel like i do great i'm a great actress what about a little Performer tentacle in the butt? what about a little tentacle in the butt no. like a tiny one i want to see how like this avn goes on stuff like that and the awards and then next year i'll consider like trying i want to see if i like in my personal life and if i do then you should start with asians i'll do it and work your way up to oh black. yeah when i do my first scene like i'm picking like the smallest dick that there is yeah, i Jewish, feel like Asian. whatever guy i do my first with is gonna be like honored like oh she chose me but like i'm picking them because their dick is like the smallest and easiest probably i have a guy for you who so when we were hosting <laughs> uh, dr miami would let us give away boob jobs so i've given away a bunch of boob jobs through him um to yeah. fans and then he, he called me one day and he's like yo i started doing dick jobs he's like we can enlarge guys dicks wow. uh I want to give one away through you. So we're like, this is going to be hilarious. We're going to give away a boob job and a dick job. You know, you couldn't be trans, like none of that. Like it had to be just like a guy with a dick getting a bigger dick Dang. extension. Yeah. So we hold the contest. We couldn't find anyone who wanted the dick job because turns out most men rather not get anything cut. Mm. They'd rather be like, I'll work with what I got than have some dude fuck up my dick. Mm-hmm. But we had one contestant that Dr. Miami was like, I can't work on that dick. And he has a micro penis. It was, Aww. we have a video, I gotta find it. Linda has it. It's it's literally this big. How tall yeah. was this guy? I've this seen guy, like, guys you saw like it, that. And it's like, you should have a micro penis fuck your That's butt just first. so unattractive. Think about how much, mo- no, money. If you go, Kendra Sunderland puts micro penis in butthole. <laughs> I'd watch that. No way. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> That's the name of that. Nobody's, nobody's Ken, Kendra's that. micro penis. I cannot. Why? That's not. You got to start gross. out like little nesting dolls and work your way up. <laughs> I just think no one wants to watch that. Like it's unattractive. Everybody wants to watch that. I watch car accidents. Why do you think there's rubber neckers? <laughs> no. Not everything has to be hot, Kendra. Why do you think I people watch right. me in drag? Because it's not attractive. Mm. It's a car accident. Drag? I'm the micro penis. You're the micro penis of drag. <laughs> of of drag. I I've seen micro penises before. Trust me, and I'm good on that. How do they function? I don't know. I jerk them off like this. Do you really? I have, yeah. I'm I think sad. I would have to blow my brains out if I had a micro penis. <laughs> so go kill yourself. Just go, like, <laughs> just <laughs> turn trans, like turn yourself into a woman. You'll make no, more but money. That, like, do you think? Like, think about it. If you had a true micro penis, like. Every sense of motivation. I know a kid that. Well, I would be like, no one will love up. me. No one will love me. No, that's not true, bro. What are you talking about? No one's gonna love you and your micro penis. Well, you're saying your mom will love you. I think someone I'm not love fucking you, my mom. Just not your micro penis. What? Yeah. Someone People might love, love you for your personality, but not your micro penis. Yeah, yeah, but I'll always feel like I'm not fulfilling something for that person that's really important. Which sex is important for any relationship. Use your fingers, yeah, well, bro. Yeah, you just have her fuck like guy, or your mouth. guys. <laughs> you <just laughs> On the side, just become a cop. Yeah, so that's that's just what I'm saying. Mom. I'd kill myself because mm-hmm. I wouldn't be able to do the one. Like I would just be the laughing stock of every girl. Yeah, man, mm-hmm. micro penises. 
It's just not in, bro. Like, if, would you rather be born with big tits or little tits? Big tits. Leverage, bro. Everybody wants leverage. leverage. If I had a big dick, I'd be in. <laughs> would you want to be hot or ugly? I think dicks should just be like. Hard I think I would be less seven. successful if I was hot. Like limp dicks, just like shouldn't exist. It's just like why science. Terrible. It's they should just science. be hard. And it's like fucked up that we have a, we have proof of like oh uh, shit like you guys could at least fake it. Yeah, like I there's mean, no like oh her clit's tits. not hard. Like I have to walk around with big tits. Why can't you guys walk around with hard dicks all the time? Like probably leads to more sexual assault. <laughs> if I think bonus. it would lead to more sex because I feel like if a girl is like she saw, just saw you hard in your pants and she'd be like kind of turned on more unless Kendra you're not the general not public it's not a very big bulge. Kendra you're not <laughs> like my grandma and my mom are walking down the street in New York and see a fucking you know homeless guy with an erection they're like not a homeless guy I don't want to suck that guy's dick not a homeless guy. I guess you're right. A lot of that in LA. I'm just saying that, like, in a perfect world, to me, dicks would be hard all the time, but there also wouldn't be, like, bugs. So it's not, <laughs> like, real. It's I not love how realistic. you equate that to bugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not realistic, but, like, in my perfect world, that's how it would be. I think that's a good, like. What? No mosquitoes and hard dicks? <laughs> no, for me, it's, bro, it's, like, ticks and fucking spiders. I hate snakes. I'm not a fan of <laughs> shit like that. Like, shit like that like bugs me out. like we bring snakes around here? Well, the snakes bug me out. But it's okay. I, the snake father is good. He's we, She's fucking snakes. <laughs> it's weird. I can't do it. It's crazy <laughs> stuff, dude. Honestly, I, yeah, I can't eat calamari. Like, when someone of my, like, ordered it recently, I got a little, like, freaked out. Yeah. Why? Calamari is like the little like the little like octopus ones with like all the tentacles though. Anytime I see tentacles now, I'm just kind of like dude. Your favorite thing to I eat is like, crab. Cr- like grit my teeth and like start to drool. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you know, like I start to see it, I start like growling or something every time I see tentacles now. It's like a joke. raw fish is also kind of weird for me. <laughs> like, you don't like sushi? No, I can't do sushi too much. Every like, like sushi. Not slabs of fucking like raw sushi? fish. I don't really like raw fish that much. Hmm. Nah, you're it's not sugar breed, fish. A texture thing. Where people are just slicing the raw thing right, right out of the fridge, and they're putting it on top of the rice, and I'm like, my brother, I'm okay. That's interesting. I need a little frying. I need a little sizzle on there. Crispy the rice. Put a little some kind of flavoring on it. I'm just getting sauce. hungry now. Oh, like, sashimi! Like you just don't. I'm like. just getting real. I just don't want it to be straight <laughs> rice and Kendra, raw you fish. Eat after this? We're hungry now. We're just talking about food the whole rest of the time. Kendra, do you have anything to plug? Yeah, um, my Instagram is what is it? <laughs> the real KS Library Girl, I think. Molly, is that it? Is it? <laughs> I'm freaking yes, it okay. Yeah, and yeah, the real KS Library Girl. My Twitter is KS Library Girl. You can what can find, they see on your Twitter? Um, everything. Everything. Well, I like post like nudes and stuff like that and previews to my videos, but I also like just tweet random things all the time. Like, did you post any of the tentacle previews on Twitter? Uh, no, I post that on my hands, but everyone's okay. like really interested in that. But yeah, my own hands is my name, Kendra Sunderland, and yeah, I think that's it. Fire. Buy my flashlight and watch my videos. Look me up on. How many flashlights of yours are out there? Of me? Yeah. There's like thousands, I guess. I don't know. Damn. There's a lot. I've had it for like four or five years. That's cool. <laughs> no, it's just <laughs> awesome that like your vagina's like in someone's dishwasher I know, like, right now. like forever. Like my vagina is just forever out there. And it's um, so awesome. It's crazy. Yeah. I remember Did you ever point, get your dick molded? You've been asking me this no, like, no, for no, the last boys, 10 years. My bro. homies from Doc Johnson, they're like literally down the street. No, I get they, it. They have Don't a molding. Do it. You, would you get your dick no, molded? I feel for, what you're saying. For the podcast, just put it on the wall right here. For what? On nobody, the wall. We'll nobody, have your dick, nobody cares. And then I'm going to have one of Kendra's. <laughs> well, Ukrainian penises are more popular, popular right now, so maybe, but no. I don't think so. Why? They I think wouldn't, it'd be silly. It's not enough to. It's if it's not, it's not profitable enough. You know what I mean? If we it's mean, not about profit. It's art. I just it's want art. your penis on my wall. <laughs> I want to make like yeah. Little, but I want to put. Imagine if we just did a, your. Does your is your dick more up, straight, or down when it's hard? It could or to be the a, side? I honestly don't even remember. My mine is a little this way, so I would make um, nice little bathroom towel hooks <laughs> out of my dick because it's like probably like so. We'll because you're like, just like a little yeah. It's a little, you hang your keys off. Them. So you're just like a mini one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not 
micro a mini <laughs> i have a mini penis oh my god let's end it on on the fact that you have a mini penis and they <laughs> many penises. you're hiding that you're micro because sometimes you sit here with your shorts really far up and i don't know oh, i tape it back for the shows <laughs> yeah he's taped up still yeah. wanted to get him away an idiot. Uh, <laughs> all right well you're gonna have to cl- clap the thing. guys just uh, rate us on itunes and like subscribe to all the please channels. Please, please and share some of the instagram videos reels all that yeah clap us in so kendra we forgot to do this with you but really the way you're supposed to start the show is you're supposed to say clap us in clap us out that's what this podcast is all about and then you clap it <laughs> Okay. But can you just close with that? Clap us in, clap us out. You know what this podcast is all about. Wow, that was good. That was great.